Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we defeated the Fire Spirit, obtained his uh, amulet, and we boarded Shark Guy's ship. And now we're talking to the Water Spirit. Mark on the arm has disappeared. Ah. Wow. I'm the heir? I am your heir? So yeah, this guy is, um... This guy, well, I don't... See, I'm not sure if he's supposed to be my father or just my ancestor. But yeah, um, this guy's my dad. I, I guess I'll just say he's my dad. I don't know, I've read on wikis that he, I'm supposed to be like his ancestor and whatnot, but... Um, yeah, it's going to get explained how the fuck I was born to uh, Pearl and Culture Bay eventually here. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I am the heir to a great pirate with an awesome ship. Okay, so we talked that guy talk to that guy if we want to rest. But yeah, let's look around, man. Let's explore the sea dragon. blame you for wanting to do something to the Demon King. Well, at least you guys are still alive, man. You were well preserved. I mean, you could have done worse, man. You could have burnt you guys to the cinder and sunk your ship. So, I'm thankful for that, I guess. Alright, so we get a pirate's hat. I'm selling that. Yeah, but this ship has some of the best equipment in the game. Salty. Oh, okay. You raised my dad, huh?
how cool is this, man? I got my own ship and everything. Yeah, that's gotta suck, man. Oh, yay, a turban. But yeah, you need the ultimate key to get in here, and you get a fucking turban. Pretty disappointing, huh? I think one of these barrels is a mini metal, is it not? Isn't there like a hidden one somewhere around here? Hold on, man. Three treasures. I'm probably in here. Another enclosure plan. Those are fun. Alright, take what we like, give nothing back. I like that motto. Wait a minute. This is what I was thinking of. Yeah, you gotta say yes to the cat. Yeah, you get another mini metal. Yeah. Okay. Sure yet we gotta explore man gotta explore my ship yeah they got a bar in here they got shops King Buckingham was a good guy. Another captain's code. That's good though. If you're short on cash, you can always sell them.
He was a fine sailor and a fisherman without equal. He was a mighty too fond of the old grog and gambling. What, are you talking about my uncle or something? I don't know, the way he described him, it sounds like my uncle. It's kind of scary, huh? Maybe my uncle used to be a pirate. Yeah. How many mini models is that now? Mini model number 99. Holy shit, I've almost hit the century mark. Okay, there's a number of different um, equipment shops here. I do want to buy three silver shields. I just got the Metal King shield. That's probably the best shield she's ever going to have. Oh, they got room for this stuff. Yeah, there you go, Maribel. Yeah, Maribel's going to get one. What this does is it deletes 25 points of fire explosion and fire breath damage. Silver Shield is one of the best shields in the game, period. It's really good. Come on, man. And, oh yeah, and I guess this one is going to be going to... Well, I can equip it on Gabo for now, I guess, but eventually it's going to be Melvin's shield. That's not even the good stuff yet. Oh no, there's more. Yeah, they have a second armor shot. And yeah, this dragon robe here, 40,000 gold. However, it's the best armor in the game. Period. I'm going to get three of them. Uh, yeah, the hero, Maribel, and Melvin can equip it. Uh, it deletes 40 points of fire, explosion, fire breath, and ice breath damage. So it's not the best defense wise in the game. But it's amazing uh, as far as other damage mitigation. So yeah, it's it's just awesome, man. It is amazing. Yeah, don't need the bottlenose buckler anymore. Yeah, the lag is terrible. <laughs> it is fucking terrible. Yeah, we'll throw that in the bag. Here you go, Gabo. Yeah, this setup right here from Maribel, Dragon Robe, Silver Shield, Golden Tiara, probably the best in the game. Uh, I guess you could sub out a Silver Shield for a Flame Shield if you want more ice protection. I think you buy Flame Shields in some of the earlier areas you get to, but eh. I mean, you still get 40 points of Ice Breath protection from the Dragon Robe alone, so that is still very, very good. Okay, what kind of weapons do you have here? Eh, nothing I care about. It's all expensive as fuck, and I don't know what... It, I don't really care what any of it does. Cobra Claws? Nah. We're gonna be getting better weapons anyways, later. So yeah, I would get Silver Shields and Dragon Robes. 
You're going to want to get a, a dragon robe and a silver shield for Melvin, too, when he rejoins. If you plan on having him in your final party. I guess if you don't plan on using him in your final party, then don't worry about it. And we got the item shop. What do you sell, lady? Nothing I care about. So look forward to these types of items that seem worthless. Got a church and everything on here. No party, man. Everybody's so quiet. Aren't you guys amazed that I'm like the heir to a famous pirate? Come on, man. I have nothing to say about anything right now. Oh, wait, I can't use this guy to save. Fuck not. That's weird. Ah, I was talking about the metal and the cat eating it, yeah. Okay, already got that one. Yeah, this is now my shit. He's just gonna be like, you know. What? Whatever, it's your ship now. I figured he would have, like, you know... Still wanted... I don't know, I figured he would have just... Wanted to keep it as long as he was alive, though, right? I mean, isn't it a little bit early for him to be giving him his ship? So we're going to go out and do the dirty work. And these guys are going to just sail us around the world, man. How fucking cool is that? Man, I love this. When I, when I first played this game and I got to this part, I was like, wow. This is cool. Yeah, man, this game takes a long time to get going. But once you get deep into the story, man, it's, it's definitely one of my favorites.
But yeah, you might be asking yourself, well, how can the Dragon Roll be the best armor in the game when there's Metal King armor? Trust me, the Metal King armor only deletes 30 points of fire and ice, and that's it. Ice, fire and ice breath. Not spells or anything like that. So while it is much better defense than the Dragon Roll, it doesn't compare as far as damage mitigation. And then as far as defense is concerned, I mean, a few kabuff spells and gritty ditty and that don't even matter. You know. So defense in Dragon Quest games isn't as important as uh, damage mitigation. Alright man, so I, I I think I've explored everywhere on this ship. Pretty big ship. Easy to miss stuff. Check this weapon shop. Oh, I guess yeah, you can get a metal king sword here, but god, look how expensive it is. I can't even afford it. To buy all the stuff that I bought. The Godea sword. Uh yeah, I don't remember what that does. Dragon claws. Yeah, zombies bane does more damage than dead if you care about that. But the attack power for it sucks. Who cares? Falcon knife earring is equipped these expedient earrings to strike twice in a single turn. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, these are like weapons or something like that. I mean, yeah, you can. Eh. Nah, man. No thanks. It sounds good, but no. I mean, we, we don't get any characters like Elena from Dragon Quest IV, so those aren't going to work, man. If we had a character that could crit a lot, then that would work. Although, I guess maybe if you were, if your classes that have the, uh, the high passive, you know, that might work, but eh. Anyways, I think we're done here. Let's go shore. Where the hell am I? I'm not even sure where the hell I'm at. Oh, we're at... Well, at least we can change um, locations. Yeah, I didn't know we were docked at... Uh, All Trades Abbey region. Well, that works, I guess.
So you know what? I'm gonna sell some shit. Might as well do it off. Might as well do it on screen too. Why the hell not? What do I have to sell? Yeah, I can get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. Maybe I will be able to. Maybe after I sell some stuff, maybe I'll be able to afford that Metal King sword. Yeah, cause I can use that Metal King sword with the other Metal uh, King equipment that I have uh, for style bonus. Not that that really matters, of course. But I figure I'm going to show it off. Might as well. Plus, if I really wanted to, I guess I could give that Metal King sword to Maribel. I don't almost buckle anymore. Strength ring is garbage. Snooze stick I probably don't need anymore. It's been a good fucking staff, man. I've had that staff since since fucking uh since yeah, since here, since all trades, since fucking like long time ago. Been a good weapon. Yeah, silver platter, I don't fucking need. Yeah, I don't need these magic vestments. Oh boy, I almost got enough for that fucking... Metal King Sword. Just gotta sell like one more little thing and I'd have it. Do I really need Lucidia shards? Probably not. Dancer's Mail. There we go. That's better to sell. Yeah, I should have done this before when I was on the ship. Oh, Gabo's got the third silver shield. Duh. I'm like thinking to myself, where's the third silver shield? Duh. No, Gabo's got it. I suppose I could get that Metal King Sword from Melvin. No. But yeah, like fucking 75,000 for that shit. And it's not even the strongest sword in the game. 
mind you. It's it's not. It's not the strongest sword in the game. The strongest sword in the game is the uh, Okeano sword. The weapon with the highest attack rating in the game is the Gringham Whip. Store in the bag for now. Yeah, because with Maribel, I'm just gonna use that magma staff as an item. But yeah, I'm like, I just splurged all my gold, man. But yeah, I'm going to cut this video, I guess, a little short now. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest Seven. And in the next episode, we're going to seek out the Water Spirit. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and all. Or maybe we've already done that. I don't know what we're going to do. I can't remember. See you next time. Bye-bye.